What's the first topic? What do you guys want to talk about first? <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. That's a good topic. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, that's... that's a very good topic. Don't we all I, do I think videos we, on that? Yeah, I think we should probably talk about where we all came from. And like, I mean, this is this is only going to be like an introductory. Well, you see, I was introduced. born in a hospital. and mm. the I was born history. on my birthday. <laughs> so for my birthday, wow. I got my name. For my birthday, I got my name. Oh, that's a nice so present. Who wants to who wants to actually kind of state their origins first? Well, I've got a story for you. Ooh. So, um, and I've said I've I've explained this on on stream before. I think I I had been aware of the game, and I had a friend who would talk about it, and I didn't understand it, and it scared me. And I remember like we were all really very scared because we were like. We didn't understand it. It was purple man kill kid, kid be robot, and we didn't <laughs> like that. Um, Remember when it was that easy? <laughs> it, was, it was so easy. So, for the longest time, it was just sort of that game. Uh, I remember I watched some videos on Sister Location when it came out, but I was just, like, confused and didn't really care all that much. Then, like, in 2017, just in July 2017, I was like, you know what? Five Nights at Freddy's. What's this all about? So I pulled up the Game Theory playlist, as you know, as we all do, uh, and I just binged all of them. And uh, then I was like, "Okay, this looks interesting. I'm interested in this story, um, but it's scary. Which one do I get? FNAF World." So I played FNAF World. <laughs> <laughs> That's your first introduction to the franchise, FNAF World. Uh, well, technically, the Game Theory videos were. So I knew, okay. I knew things. I knew about the games, but I was like. FNAF World, and then I bought all of the other ones except Help Wanted because Help Wanted wasn't out yet. Uh, and then in the build up to FNAF Six, I remember I would I would do these like little news updates. It was back <laughs> when I was sort of very small on YouTube, you know. Yeah. And basically, when FNAF Six came out, I did a series on it, except it was really awful because I was scared and paranoid, and ended up because of that. Because of my fear, my paranoia, and ultimately my sheer laziness, I kind of threw all the animatronics back out into the alley and got the worst ending. Wow. <laughs> so that was an anticlimactic <laughs> series because I didn't even go back and get the good ending. You just had the easiest nights ever, and then you got canned. Uh, yeah. I think, well, I think I got Molten Freddy. That was it. And he was enough. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh,